Hello everybody, Sparkster1701 here, and we're going to do another comparison between a Generation 1 Transformer and a more modern version. I want to give a quick shout out to Anne. She's the one that donated Hunger that we saw a little ways back. This time she sent me with my own money to the local Ollie's to pick this guy up. We have here before you all, Croc. Right over here on the left is the 1990 Action Master version of the character, which was how Croc appeared in the G1 line. And then right here on the right is the Titan's Return Croc. And immediately, a lot, for those of you who are collectors of the G1 line, you can immediately tell the major differences between the original and the modern toy. Of course, since the original was nothing more than an action master, it was your basic action figure. So basically, you had the articulation there at the arms all the way around. You could spread his legs out at the hip like so or even up forwards and you could also bend him at the knee. And that was about it. Now you could also turn his head to the sides but he could only go like that about that far either way due to the pads there coming out of his shoulders. The modern one, oh boy, this dude has articulation. He can't turn his head very much, so he loses on that aspect, but move his shoulders out like so. He can bring, rotate at the shoulder like so. even has a joint at the elbow, and he has a swivel at the shoulder and at his wrist. So he's kind of almost got the swivel arm battle grip that G.I. Joe toys became famous for. And then, of course, down here at his legs, you can spread his legs apart full for a full splits. And bring him up at the hip like so. You can bend his ankles backward. And you can bend him at the knees in two different places. So he does knock out his original version considerably. But of course he also does pay some homage to the original toy. So I mean he does have a very similar color scheme. We'll bring the other one a little bit more forward here. Get your foot out kid so we can see it. Adjust the camera down a little bit here. That way you can see things a little bit better. You can see a lot of the color scheme does carry over back and forth between the two toys. And this little... I guess he went out drinking last night or something. This nice detail there on the chest. Zoom in on it here for you. You've got the little red blotches there above the insignia, which, while in a different pattern, does match the pattern here. It does somewhat pay homage to the pattern here at the top of the G1's chest. Or here on the G1, since he didn't transform, this pattern kind of gave a hint at what his alternate mode could have been. Leads you to believe he could have been an airplane of some sort. And then, of course, there are other slight other homages, like for the fact the G1's partner was called Gator Raider. The removable head figure on the new croc is called Gator Face, probably to avoid potential lawsuits from Gatorade. Or they lost the trademark for Gator Raider. In the year, in the intervening years, 
Now, let's take a look at the alternate modes, and that, I'm sure, is not going to be much of a surprise given to any of you who are G1 collectors out there. Like I said, and for those of you who are G1 collectors, you kind of know where this is going to go. For the G1 guy, Gator Raider converts into a larger gun that, you know, you can't, you can't hold it right the normal way without toppling over. So he's got to hold it like that to stay standing up. Just looks stupid. But the modern version becomes a crocodile. And it looks considerably impressive. I mean, it's a pain in the neck to convert him, to transform him, rather, into this mode, but the results are very, very good. I, I like it. I mean, normally I didn't have much of an opinion about many of these newer toys, but I kind of like this. This is a major improvement over the original toy. But of course, when you consider the fact that the original Croc was nothing more than an over-glorified action figure, to get one that actually transformed that's that's an improvement right there, hands down. I mean, we don't even need to know what this new, what all sorts of articulation and whatnot this new one can do. He automatically shows he is a superior toy. But we'll still show it off anyways, just to kind of rub it in his face. The alligator's head, while well, it's a shame the mouth doesn't move, you can move the head in multiple positions here like so the front legs do move from side to side like that back legs are kind of static but you can rotate the tail off to the side here and as an added bonus he does have a little orange canopy where gator face can ride inside this also kind of appears to be something of an homage to the canopies that were attached to the Insecticons, as it is in the same color and very similar shape to what many of theirs were. As for my thoughts on it, there's no comparison. There's no question on this which one's the better toy. It's obvious. It's the modern one. The modern one wins hands down, especially when you consider the fact that we were given the ability to transform him. I mean, essentially, the original one, he wasn't bad. For a new character, he wasn't too bad, in a sense, and he did fill a different and vital role for the Decepticon army. The biggest thing that he had going against him was he was unfortunately an action master. So that always was going to bite him in the butt no matter what. But this new one, you get a, a very ferocious looking crocodile mode and the robot has considerably more articulation to it than the original one did. So definitely, folks, I like the new one better than the original. I know that's going to bite me so It's probably going to come back to haunt me someday um, amongst many of the G1 purists, but I can't deny that the new one is a superior toy in every aspect. And that's my comparison on Croc, G1 version versus the Titans Return version. If you like the video, please leave a thumbs up here on YouTube. And once again, as well, don't forget, hit that subscribe button down below so you can join up within our ranks. And please also consider sharing your thoughts of either version of Croc in the comments section down below. And please leave out the obvious Croc jokes, please. This is Sparkster1701 saying I will catch you all later.